I actually went to a salon for the first time in like many years. And I was like, uh, I figured why not I ask the barber because this barber was a, is like a very renowned like person in in the community. So I was like asking him like, uh, I have no preferred hairstyle, but I want you to give me a hairstyle that uh, I don't know like that you think is good for me. So apparently he gave me a haircut. But he was telling me like, okay, I recommend this haircut. In theory, it sounds good. In theory, it sounds good. I was like, okay, actually, I like. I like how he describes the hairstyle and I was like, okay, I was looking forward to it. Then halfway through, you no, know, you do that you usually like washing your hair first and stuff and then he'll cut your hair. And I, everything was okay, you know, even like, and then it was like halfway through the cut, I saw the hairstyle and I was like, oh, it actually looks pretty good. I was like, okay, it's, it might actually be good on paper and also in actuality. But when he was done cutting my hair, I saw it and I honestly, I didn't like it. <laughs> honestly speaking, I didn't like it. But at the same time, I couldn't complain because I told him, just give me the recommended hair, so whatever you think that is good for me. And apparently he was telling me, like, you actually, you should get like shorter hair because, you know, when you have long hair, you can't really pull it up like, like this hairstyle. But the thing is, I think it was my fault. I should have told him that although I prefer low maintenance, because I told him I prefer low maintenance hairstyle, I don't mind medium, like, medium like between low and high i don't mind putting a bit of like, hair gel and stuff just no hair dryer because i have no hair dryer and plus they're ridiculously noisy i kind of regret telling him like uh telling him to go like do whatever so in then i didn't really like the hairstyle but honestly if i wasn't someone that like really picky with the hairstyle because i prefer my hairstyle to like to cover my forehead I, I like that more. I feel very, I feel like I'm a, I'm a old man if I have my hair like like up. Like if it's something like this like half up, half down, I'm still okay. Because at least it's still covering bits of my forehead and I'm and I'm happy. <laughs> I don't know, I feel weird with my hair up. I feel very uncomfortable. But honestly, I was scared, you know, because the last the first time I went to a salon a few years back, right? Let me just tell you that the bubbles looks so unfriendly and that's that's probably like one of the main reasons why I, like they don't really go to like salons and stuff because they look so unfriendly like the barbers look so unfriendly and I figure okay you know why it's me a few years why not I try again why not I try and why not why not plus it's expensive so it's like something that I don't really want to go to every month just to get them just to get my hair cut right the first salon I went to was uh was well known for its uh for the Korean hairstyle, and it's also founded by uh by the Koreans. It looks so unfriendly and stuff, and I I think I sort of like got scared of them. Like this, sorry, not scared of them. Uh, the renowned barber was in charge of uh, doing my hair, and I was I was so scared. He looks so unfriendly. I was like, oh boy, <laughs> oh boy, he, he looks so unfriendly. He looks he looks like he couldn't be bothered by me at all, and I was like. I was scared, man. Then I think right towards the end of the uh, he he suddenly became like more friendly. But uh, <laughs> honestly, I'm still very scared of him. 